Joining us now, Congressman Andre Carson. He's an Indiana Democrat. He's also a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, I know you, like your colleagues, Thank you. You, you've been brief. Can you say conclusively right now, Congressman, that a bomb caused the downing of this plane? Well, I'm, 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 I'm not at liberty to, con to, to confirm these things. What I can tell you is that there is a huge and growing threat uh, in the Middle East as it relates to ISIL and other terrorist organizations. Uh, it is very disappointing that our friends in the Egyptian government have not allowed the FBI and other agencies to help with the kinds of uh, forensics that they're skilled at doing to determine uh, the source of this. But, you know, what, what it tells me more deeply is that Perhaps there was and, and, and are uh, terrorist sympathizers in our international airports that we have to address. When do you believe U.S. officials will be able to confirm the cause of this uh, explosion? We know it was an explosion. They heard an explosion at the end of that, uh, that cockpit voice recorder recording. It would be gravely irresponsible for me to speculate or even say, quite frankly, uh, but it's clear um, right now as we speak that we need our international community to come together and share intelligence information and to see to it that, you know, one, we're not hurting um, uh, other, uh, other U.S. citizens or, or even Russians for that matter, but even more than that, that we're guaranteeing the safety of those who wish to travel, see their friends, their loved ones, their families, and even vacation. And if we fail to address this threat or even minimize the threat, I hate to see what happens for our future. I raise the question, uh, Congressman, because there's at least one, but probably several killers, mass murderers at large right now, presumably still in Sinai. Maybe they've gotten out by now. Yes, you know, I, I, this is why it's ever more critical for the international law enforcement community and intelligence community to work together. I think our friends in the Egyptian government must realize that they need the help of the United States to help track down these terrorists and to get to the root causes of it so another incident doesn't happen like this in the next few weeks. You're on the uh, subcommittee on aviation and, as you know, an internal investigation of the TSA. This summer, this summer showed that investigators were actually able to smuggle mock explosives or banned weapons through checkpoints 95 percent of the trial runs. So are American airports at risk of an attack right now unless security is dramatically reevaluated? Well, you're absolutely right. You know, since uh, there was a recent GAO study that, that showed that there are numerous vulnerabilities in airport security, since 9-11, we have worked throughout the years to strengthen security at airports, and, we, and we've been quite effective for the most part. Uh, however, there has to be more that needs to be done. The TSA head was very direct in his uh, testimony b before Congress. Uh, I think that Secretary Jay Johnson is doing a great job, but we have to look at recalibrating the training that's taking place within TSA. Because a U.S. official has told CNN that when it comes to aviation security here in the United States, and I'm quoting him now, uh, you can lock the front, that front door all you want. If you've left the back window open, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and it's pretty chilling when you think about the desire of these terrorists to blow up planes with people inside. Sure, sure. You know, there are a lot of great men and women who are at TSA who go to work uh, with the intention of making our country safer. But at the same time, there have to be a series of internal controls and, and reviews regularly to ensure that the outputs are high and that the services are efficient. Congressman, stand by. We have more to talk about, including another very disturbing development today, the killing of two Americans, trainers in Jordan. Much more coming up right after this.